Uh, good afternoon to all of you. I would like to make a summary of what was said by all the speakers. Um, ladies and gentlemen of uh, different media outlets, welcome to Grom uh, Training Centers, Center for the BIP, that's uh, the Presidential Protection Team. Uh, today, this morning, JDB, that's the body tasked with the responsibility of exercising command and control over the necessary unified forces, visited Grom. And the mission was basically to come and assess the level of preparedness of the necessary unified forces for graduation. Uh, we have seen with our own eyes the level of uh, preparedness. And we are impressed and different uh, speakers encouraged the trainees to continue with the rehearsals for graduation. A number of pre-graduation pre activities have been undertaken in the last five days. One of those activities including, included the pre-positioning of food supplies in, uh, nine, in seven of the nine training centers in Greater Equatoria region, as well as uh, the delivery of uniforms. We are expecting more food to be delivered at the second uh, consignment. And uh, the appeal is being made to all of those who have already reported to their respective training centers to start uh, reporting because graduation of the first batch is at hand. The leadership did not want to, to announce to you, but all the preparations we have made, these are indications that the, pre the graduation for the necessary unified forces is at hand. And for Greater Equatoria, especially the necessary unified forces that are within and around Cuba, they are going to be Samples will be taken to all the training centers and will be taken to Cuba so that the graduation ceremony is presided over by the presidency. So my last appeal to you, you continue with rehearsals, continue reporting, and we'll see you at Dr. John Garang Moselium when the D-Day comes for graduation. Thank you. Salam, Agnes Lisa, Nikaba, Talkum Lesala, 